So we have a sister out of Chicago, and she went to the Trikoki University of Beauty Culture uh, School uh, because she was trying to get trained uh, to get her license. Now, you know Juneteenth is coming up, and with Juneteenth coming up, we have people that's trying to not celebrate Juneteenth in the way it should be celebrated. They are trying to all lives matter that particular holiday, and this sister wasn't having it, so let's go ahead real quick. So today, I got kicked out of school because the director at my school didn't like the feedback that I had for her about something that she said in class. So I go to school right now for aesthetics. Um, I was practicing to be um, an esthetician. Now, at my school on Monday and Wednesdays, we have this thing called morning meetings where we basically like, you know, just talk about what's going to happen for the day, the next few days, and we celebrate people that's like graduating and all of that type of stuff. Now, the director at my school had an announcement for us, and she said that Monday we will be celebrating Juneteenth, but instead of celebrating it for what it's for, we're going to celebrate it um, as a diverse day, make it a diverse holiday. And I immediately got turned off by that because it's Juneteenth, right? So after the morning meeting was over, I went up to the director and I asked to speak to her in private. We went into her office and I basically explained to her, I'm like, yeah, um, the way you worded it at the morning meeting today, it's, I didn't like how you said it because Juneteenth isn't a diverse holiday. It's, you know, it's not a diverse holiday. It's not where we celebrate diversity. We celebrate African-American independence. And she was basically telling me like, yeah, you need to mind your business because you don't know what I have planned for Monday. We're a diverse school. Therefore, we're going to celebrate this holiday as a diverse day. And I was immediately turned off because that like it's that's not what Juneteenth is about. Right. So after that, I went back into the classroom and some of my classmates were like asking me like, what did she say? Because we were all in agreement that that's not what. Juneteenth, Juneteenth isn't about, you know? We don't celebrate um, Cinco de Mayo as diversity. We don't celebrate Haitian Flag Day as diversity. We don't celebrate Indigenous People Day as diversity, you know? So I felt like, why would you take our holiday and try to make it something that it's not? So while I was in the class, we were all talking about, you know, just basically what had happened at the morning meeting. The director storms in after me, and she's like, yeah, um, you need to come here. And I just asked her, I said, you want me to go home, don't you? She was like, yeah, get your stuff and leave. You will be suspended. <laughs> and I'm like, suspended? Suspended for what? And she's like, yeah, so now you need to leave my campus um, before I call the police. So after that, we got into an argument because I had to tell her it, it wasn't even that deep. It's not that deep. Like, why are you making it this whole thing? So we got into an argument in front of all of the students in my class like she completely humiliated me told everybody that she was suspending me and that i had to go home like you're not supposed to first of all you're not supposed to tell my personal business to other students that's number one. Second of all you're mad because i had an opinion about what you had to say i did the right thing and i pulled you to the side and told you like i don't think that's what we should be celebrating it as so after that, after that whole argument, she's like, yeah, now you need to leave my building and instead of being suspended, you'll be expelled. I'm like, expelled for what? So we get into another argument as I'm leaving the door because I'm like, you're dead wrong. Your feelings are hurt. You didn't like what I had to say and now you wanna expel me and still try to make me pay for a school that I didn't fully get to attend? That's not right. So as I'm leaving the building, before I, I left, I wanted to like explain to my teacher like, She's not going to be letting me back, you know, what had happened. I wanted to talk to my teacher, one of the cool teachers, right? So she's, like, trying to grab me by my book bag. She's pulling on me, get out of my building, get out of my building. And I'm like, just wait, let me talk to my teacher because I want to talk to my teacher before I leave. Like, you you doing all of this for no reason. We get in front of um, the clients because at my school, we take clients. It's a, it's a beauty school, so we perform um services on clients she told the clients yeah i'm trying to remove this racist out of my building she won't leave she's a racist 
I'm racist because I said Juneteenth isn't a diverse holiday. So now I'm the racist, right? In this situation, I'm the racist. Her feelings are hurt. I'm a racist and she wants me to leave. After like a minute of me trying to find my professor, I could not find her. So you know what? I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna leave. But as I'm walking back to the front, she's on the phone with the police. She told the police I tried to attack her and that I wouldn't leave the building. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's take this back. There's multiple people sitting in this lobby. There was multiple people in my classroom. Not once did I try to attack you. There's cameras in this building which show I did not try to attack you. I wasn't being violent or nothing like that. She called the police on me, said I tried to attack her, all of this, because she didn't like that I didn't like that Juneteenth shouldn't be celebrated as a diverse holiday. So yeah, right now, um, I left, I'm gone. I just, I left the review in the comments because I don't feel like that's right. Um, students of color, we can't express our feelings without um, directors at the school feeling like it's an attack on them or everything has to be an attack on everybody when it comes down to black people and African Americans in America. So yeah, that's just an update. This sister is 100% in the right, what she's saying. June 19th, 1865 in Galveston, Texas, is when the Union soldiers came and told the slaves that you were free because the Emancipation Proclamation was signed two years prior. So when black people who was enslaved an additional two years after the Civil War, that's something that we celebrate. That, that is a, a freedom that we have, at least from private slavery. Now, state-run slavery is, 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 is the next slavery that needs to end. But private slavery, yes, we did get freedom on June 19th, 1865. No other group was, was enslaved in this country but black American people. It is a holiday to celebrate our ancestors getting out of those chains. It's nothing else that other people are trying to bring it in. You can't try to latch on any other agenda or latch on any other group to Juneteenth. We as black people have to be very fierce gatekeepers of Juneteenth. Now, some people say, well, you know, we just want everybody to celebrate it. Everybody can celebrate Juneteenth. I have no issue in everybody celebrating Juneteenth. If you want to celebrate that black people were released from slavery, then by all means celebrate that. And then with Juneteenth, you must celebrate it with the right flag. Juneteenth is not about Pan-Africanism and I support Pan-Africanism, but Juneteenth is not about Pan-Africanism. You should not be waving no red, black, and green at a Juneteenth. You are supposed to be waving the flag that was created for Juneteenth, the red, white, and blue flag with the star in the middle. Of course, the red, white, and blue, of course, would represent America. The white star in the middle is the representation of Texas because, you know, on our you know, state flag, we got one star. And the little uh, things going out from that star is the new opportunities that we will have as black people now that we are free from slavery. That is the only flag that you need to be waving when it comes to Juneteenth, any other flag, you need to be telling them and educating them say, Hey, that's the wrong flag. That is not the right flag. We got to have the right information and the right flag at all times when it comes to us. Cause one thing you can't do with other people, you can't bring no other flags out there to their stuff. Imagine bringing a contrary flag to the Puerto Rican parade. It has nothing to do with what Puerto Ricans set up to celebrate themselves. Or, or even if you have an a Jamaica, uh, 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 festival, you can't bring no other flag there, but the flag that's established for Jamaica Well, it's the same thing with us. We need to gatekeep our history, gatekeep everything that our people created. Black America actually created two flags. You have the, of course, the June 19th flag, and you have the black American flag that's red, black with that gold sword and everything in the middle. That's flags that we can have. Listen, if you really want to make a bold statement and you have like flagpoles as your business, raise up that, that June 19th, uh, 1865 flag, 
Put the black American flag up on your business. Trust me. A lot of people are going to be like, what, what do you got going on? They'll, they'll be asking questions. Do you know there are people that don't even know why they having days off? They say, what's Juneteenth? Why have we got a day off? Well, that's the simple answer. Union soldiers came to Galveston, Texas, June 19, 1865, and let the slaves know they were free. So we celebrate that. Like for me, I don't celebrate July 4th at all because my people are still on the plantation. Our people was told, if you help us beat the British, we'll release you out of slavery. What ended up happening? They put our people right back into slavery. So why in the world I would celebrate July 4th? That's not independence for me. That may be independence for them folks, but that's not independence for my people. June 19th, 1865, Juneteenth is our independence day as black men and women of America. And we should always celebrate our independence day. We always have in Texas. We always done something on Juneteenth. Now it's a federal holiday. Now we didn't ask Biden for that, but it is what it is. We is on fine, but let's get Juneteenth right. Cause like I said, I'm not seeing the colors right. And y'all got to tighten that up. It's going to take us on social media to make people tighten that up with the right flag. But let me know what y'all think about, you know, what our sister's talking about here. Like I said, just because uh, Karen did not want to celebrate Juneteenth the way it should have been celebrated, want to co-opt it and try to make it a Cinco de Mayo because, you know, the folks, they, 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 oh, Cinco de Mayo. I'm so excited about Cinco de Mayo. Do you, you don't even know what it is. And the majority of Mexicans don't even celebrate no Cinco de Mayo. It's only one part of Mexico that celebrate that. So what you excited about? Like, what did she say? Because we were all in agreement that that's not what Juneteenth, Juneteenth isn't about. You know, we don't celebrate um, Cinco de Mayo as diversity. We don't celebrate Haitian Flag Day as diversity. We don't celebrate Indigenous People Day as diversity. You know, so I felt like, why would you take our holiday and try to make it something that it's not? After like a minute of me trying to find my professor, I could not find her. So, you know, what? I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna leave. But as I'm walking back to the front, she's on the phone with the police. She told the police I tried to attack her and that I wouldn't leave the building. No, but <laughs> it just, it, it. It, it, it's just annoying. And then that woman sent up there threatening the, the young sister with the cops and all of that. Just because, just because she corrected her on the history and say, no, you're not going to all lives matter. My history, you're not going to do it. Every time black people want to celebrate our history, celebrate our ancestors, gatekeep our culture, people get mad. Why? Nobody gets mad about it. anybody else gatekeeping their culture but they feel like our culture shouldn't be respected and anybody can just come in our culture and do whatever the hell they want to do. No. And they get mad when we have some pushback. Every black person, <laughs> every black person should be a fierce gatekeeper of black American culture, period. We have one of the best cultures on the earth because everybody's copying it. If it wasn't so bad, if it was something so horrible, nobody would be copying it and imitating it. Don't let nobody say you shouldn't be uh, doing that or you don't have a culture. We have the best culture in the world and we need to gatekeep the hell out of it.